Hey, what's up guys? It's Marf and welcome back to yet another Asphalt 9 video this week. Now, if you watched my video yesterday about the full throttle update, we went over the cars that were added in this update and I pointed out that the screenshots that were given to other game off creators um, contained the number of cars in the game but it actually said that there was 118 cars, I believe, when we were confirmed to have only 116 cars. I may have gotten that number wrong, but the point is, is that the screenshot looked like there was going to be two new secret cars or just cars that they were planning on adding in a future update. Well, the update has finally released on iOS and Android, and after the weekend, it is going to be releasing on other platforms. So um, just beyond the new cars, um, go ahead and get the update if you can right now. It's a pretty good update, and there's a new uh, season in career mode, which I covered yesterday, but um, it actually has the Nevada track, which I will bring gameplay of to you guys tomorrow or hopefully uh, within the next couple of days. So anyway, going back to those two mystery cars, they were actually secret cars in this update that Gameloft did not tell us about. And weirdly enough, you can actually just see them in your garage if you have the update. Um, at least for me, they show up. And the first one here is the Lamborghini Huracan Super Trofeo Evo. Uh, yeah, Lamborghini is going all out with their names of race cars. But um, yeah, this is sitting right at the top of D class, so above the Corvette C7R. And it's another Grand Prix car because it has a key and it looks very uh, GT3, GT4 uh, type of a race car here. And uh, the stats look pretty darn similar to the Corvette C7R, except you'll notice it has much better handling, but uh, worse nitro. Um, so hopefully it won't be a boat like the Bentley, or as we like to call the Boatly, um, and it won't have bad handling like the Corvette. Um, I'm hoping they get this sort of race car in Class D thing correct with this Huracan, and it looks like that's what they're going to do. So the second car in this update is actually the Bugatti Devo, which is really interesting because I thought there was only going to be one super hyper car in this update, which we knew was the Lavatura Noir yesterday uh, from the update patch notes. But um, yeah, the Bugatti Devo, um, it's in S class. It's right below the Jesco and right above the Bailey Blade. And uh, obviously the Devo, if you know, is basically a type of Chiron that is made specifically for track and handling purposes. So the top speed is not as fast as the Chiron, but you'll notice that the handling is much better if you actually compare it to the uh, Devo, or I'm sorry, not the Devo, but the Bailey Blade, which is right next to it. You notice that at base, um, the Devo has about 10 points of handling more than the Bailey Blade has, and I have the handling of the Bailey upgraded a bit. Um, so this is definitely going to be very good for handling. Obviously the top speed is not as much, but the acceleration starts at 78, and the nitro starts at 57, which isn't too bad. So it'll definitely be more of an acceleration and handling focused type car. And I believe uh, it is actually one of the um, best S-Class cars in terms of the um, you know handling and acceleration stat, because previously that car was the Sion, and the Batista so um, this is probably going to be the new twisty king from what I can tell but then again I may be wrong on that and uh, yeah it looks pretty darn sick in game and I was just a bit surprised what I'm thinking is after the drive syndicate event is over we will probably have another special event and that will be with the Bugatti Devo because if you'll notice it has 85 uh, blueprints to collect whereas the Lavatour Noir has a key now um, and that has 40 blueprints and if you know Previously with the Drive Syndicates, those required a key. So I think it's pretty safe to say that the Lava Tour Noir, that will be the Drive Syndicate uh, car, and the Bugatti Devo will probably be either like a separate event um, or it'll come after the Drive Syndicate. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on these new cars in the comment section down below, and uh, I will see you guys later.